So now the cardinal's right where you want him. We'll just sew the bottom, iron, iron that on, Paula. This is one right. of those great new Teflon ironing sheets. I do iron, a Teflon. Do you know, not all the way to the top. We have NASA to thank for this. See, I did it wrong already. Not I in did ironing, wrong. huh, Paula? <laughs> no, I iron all the time. <laughs> sure, we believe that, don't we, Paula? <laughs> stop it. Your sister could tell us. Does she iron? No, oh, Brenda, no? Don't See? badger the host on the first day, Rita. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do want to get ass back. There is that. All right, so okay. you, you iron now, on your... Because it's two slippery fabrics. This is a real heavy-duty nylon, an industrial okay. kind of nylon, because you want it to hold up outside. Sure. So once we've ironed that on, you can see now it sticks. You don't need any pins or anything. Mm -hmm. That's the wonderful part, because then... There goes that one. We sew like Julia Child cooks. Yes. <laughs> Throw it around. <laughs> then, after everything is... <laughs> Oh my goodness, the look of those two. Uh, that was Rita Farrell, who owned a sewing shop in Clinton called Rita's So Fun. She came on with crafting and sewing projects, and she, she's actually written two books. Recently came on with a t-shirt memory quilt, uh, just recently here. Well, Rita Farrell, sassy as ever, 30 years later. <laughs> 30, remember you used to throw everything over your shoulder? I know, I had you, so many samples, I just had to get to it. Yes, <laughs> and you were, you were one of my sassiest guests back then. And still, probably. Still then, I know. Paula, you changed my life. I have to say before we start the interview, this is the, I called you, a, I had a little shop in Clinton, Iowa, and you allowed me to come on the show. I, I, I promoted major events, and I believe you're the reason that I was I offered a book deal and I wrote this book, Life is Not a Dress Size, which changed my life. I became a writer. I traveled for 10 years doing seminars. And I always sent clips of me on the Paula Sands show. Well, They were uh, very impressed with that. You, this, this vehicle is what does it. So I, I just, uh, I'm proud to well, be in, in the driver's you. seat to steer you toward your I'm more I'm not the only guest who feels that way. You've changed lots of people's lives. And here in the Quad Cities, it really has been. Dina was right. You've been a launch pad for lots of local people. And especially me. I'm happy to be the launch pad. <laughs> Um, there you go, better than them, yeah. Dress, uh, life is not a dress size. I remember I thought that was the cleverest title, and there you are, because it, you still believe Thank that? You. Even though you've lost, tell the folks how much weight you've lost. 100 pounds since that first show. Only 100 <laughs> pounds in 30 years. It only took a couple trips to Florida, yes. a few fat camps, yeah, there you go. But what you really emphasize here is that you can, you can look great at any size, any age. And have a life, no matter yeah. what size you are. Right, right. You start from today. That's, and I still believe that today. The book's been out of print for a long time, but it has been my credo and how I live. Well, when you used to come on with different projects, I liked the ones that didn't involve sewing because I've never been able to sew, and you still didn't teach me. But uh, these, ri these rice bags, these uh, things that you put in the microwave, you know, right? I get probably more, I had a rice bag heating pad that said PSL on it, and I used it for like five years. Oh, you don't have that it, anymore. I don't, and it was, but I made a couple of new ones. The whole idea is you use the terry cloth towel, and it's with white rice, just white long grain white rice. Inside, yep. Inside, and the shapes are kind of what's changed. I like this longer one, and then I use uh, t-shirt strips. I'm big on Franken sewing, cutting up t-shirts for any darn thing. Mm -hmm. But you heat this in the microwave two, uh, two minutes, and it'll stay warm for an hour. And it's right. not plugged in, you can walk around your house. This smaller size, I realized last night, I made this for my friend, Rita Kohler, lives next door. She just had hand surgery, but if she puts this in the microwave, she can put this on top of her hand and it kind of molds and so it'll be warm for an hour. You made practical things that, that everybody could, could use <laughs> for something. And you had a big thing about bedding, I remember. My right? second book was called Dress Your Dream Bed. Dress Your Dream Bed. And this was based on my, um, my mother had passed away and my sisters and I went through her hope chest which she'd been married to my dad for 50 years, and there were beautiful linens in there and pillowcases and bed that she'd never used. Mm -hmm. So I wrote this whole book, which is about using your best stuff every day, and I am really yes. am a believer. You always said, you know, don't save this stuff. Don't, don't save your, your good china. Your, use it. Because, and your kids use won't it, have any it. memories if you don't yep. trot it out. Every, yeah, use it. My boys, and then my credo was, if both Ross and Elliot were gonna be at the house for dinner, we used Aunt Rosella's silver, which I only realized she had after she died. You're big on memories, and so you got into these memory quilts. Yes. Um, I know your dear husband had Alzheimer's. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the inspiration. And we have this, uh, you guys get yes. that shot of, of a memory quilt that, uh, these are different t-shirts that I that I gave you. A, and I love that. I love that Jake climbed up on the chair to hang the dark Yes, he thing. did. We, we, ha we have it hung <laughs> on the wall. On my favorite movie, Titanic, and um, I have some other things from some, some travels. I know, and that does really and depict, I, I think this is such a great idea, because not only this depicts your whole show, Paula, and this year and that, in places that you went, places that you visit, trips that you've taken. But this is, but th this is a, a really nice idea. one. And then... 
for our first anniversary, you decorated this chair for us. We still use this, although we're afraid to sit in it. Well, because James it's just climbed on it, and I was terrified. The thing must be 60 years old. Oh, well, yeah, because it was old when you when you took care exactly. of it. Look, there's the shot. There we are. There we are with the chair, Rita. There's some things that we've saved over the I years. Know, dust feather painting. That was that for was. the uh, the one year anniversary of the show back in '94 when you when you gave and us the that. live audience every day. I would bring my yeah. kids. We did Halloween costumes. My nieces and nephews were young. There, yeah, nobody's young anymore. 30 years. Oh, look there at, you are. It's there, in, yeah. Remember Miss Margaret, who did our, oh, our makeup? She, always, she was a sweetheart. She did everybody's makeup. And uh, we, we really <sighs> like to bring out cakes. Uh, there was our, our first producer, that's Kathy Momloff, and director Ken McFarlane, uh, Mike Mickle, uh, Jonathan Dillon, uh, for our cake there that year. And this is just these are just come some behind-the-scenes shots. And we all had our TV6 shirts on. There's Rita. I don't know, <laughs> about what, the, I, I don't know what in the world <laughs> she's be holding my up. But um, but yeah, so those those were those were good days, and you were around for I mean I mean how many different uh, shows did you do for us? And every book I ever did, every event I ever did, you've had me on for. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the vintage linen collection. My recently, just in 2019, right before COVID, I launched a, um, at the Bettendorf Library the Art of Homemaking exhibit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I brought you a gift from that exhibit, Paula. This is, and I washed them and just ironed them. It starts them yesterday. These are beautiful linen pillowcases wow. with embroidered with an S. Look at that. What are the chances oh that gosh. I would have that what in the, my what stash? Are the, what are the chances? <laughs> and, they're, and they're white, perfect for TV, right? Oh, yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> uh, sweetheart, this is so wonderful. And I know this means and a lot to you, and so it means a lot to me. This has been a wonderful for me, Paula, every time. And, I, you, yeah, you changed lives, and you certainly changed mine. You have some other been favorite memories in, in 30 seconds? Can you give me another favorite memory? <laughs> 30 seconds. That's what, they're oh. That's what they're telling me. Oh, well, there the we are. Iron. When we used that the first time, the hot the iron. iron, and when then when you were here a few years ago, well, look at all yes. that stuff you brought from your exhibit. 2019, and I know yeah. I had a featherweight sewing machine, but I just wanted to say that first time I got home and everything we ironed was all stuck together. Sure it was. <laughs> yes, but we, you just keep going though. You just keep moving in TV. And now, like, my, so my new job is I'm working at the Buffalo Bill Museum in Leclerc. Okay, full circle. See? Okay, here's full circle. And, and look, she made this dress. It's a T-shirt Which... dress. Walk in front of the thing. Walk in front of my. Yeah, walk in the oh yeah, this front. was the banner. The Rita's so fun. Go all fun. the way over. Go all okay, the way, all the way over, over, sweetie. Over. That is a oh, T-shirt yeah. dress that, that Rita made. I know. Five it, shirts had to die to make me this dress. <laughs> five <laughs> shirts had to die, and that's for the Buffalo Bill Museum. Where you're. What, yes. What's your title there? I'm the uh, assistant executive director. And it is a and you had Buffalo Bill or Cody last yes, year. Yes, you did. Last now week, you can Buffalo come, Bill was actually on the show. Now you can come back around. Okay. And get out of my shot. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's, my do. pleasure, Paula. That's how we do. That's how we do live TV. So now I'm inviting all all my uh, former guests to come back. So will you come back with regular segments? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you, that'd be great. Do you have enough to say? And now it'll be all about the Buffalo Bill Museum. And there's always something going on in Leclaire. All right, sweet. Thanks for everything. Thanks for asking me, Thanks Paula. For the it was memories. a joy. All right. When we come back today, we have another half hour of this uh, all this fun vintage video from the '90s when I met Alex Trebek. A backstage view. Who's that kid interviewing Alex? Wowie. So, uh, so we're going to do that. There's a sweet kitten in Four-Legged Friends today, as pets were also part of our first PSL. Look at that little sweetheart who's going to be here. And a person in our first show studio audience who I didn't even know then. Now we all know and love him. And there's a glimpse of him right behind my husband there. Guess who that is? We're going to check the weather with that person next on this 30th anniversary. Paula Sands Live.